In this video, we're going to discover how to solve quadratics by factorizing. You should already know what quadratics look like with an x squared term, an x term, and a number on its own. Before we look at solving quadratics, you should know how to factorize them first. So you may want to watch these two videos. There are a few different ways to solve quadratics. Firstly, by factorizing, or using the quadratic formula, or by completing the square. In this video, we're going to look at solving by factorizing. You can see how to use a quadratic formula and how to complete the square in these videos. Solving just means to find values of x that satisfy the quadratic. Usually there'll be two solutions, but sometimes there is just one and sometimes there are no solutions. The solutions are also known as roots. When we factorize, we usually end up with two brackets. This is going to give us two roots. To solve this factorized quadratic, we need it all to equal zero. Now we can solve. Make each bracket equal to zero and solve. That's all there is to it. X is negative four and X is two. If we plotted this quadratic, these roots are where the curve crosses the X axis at negative four and at two. Here are some questions for you to do. Remember, you need to factorize first and then solve. Pause the video, solve the quadratics, click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? So then, if we looked at the third one on the graph, it would look like this, with eight here and two here. So that is how we solve quadratics by factorizing. Make the quadratic equal to zero, factorize it, and then solve each bracket separately. Not all quadratics factorize, which is why we can also solve them using the quadratic formula or by completing the square. Watch these videos to discover how. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.